Well, first, yeah, there's some weird stuff behind me, and I'll tell you more about that soon. But last week, over on Smarter Every Day, Destin posted a video about how old film camera shutters are tested. His high-speed camera showed exactly how old rolling shutters worked. The shutter's spring has to obey the laws of physics, and that's why you end up with light bending near the start and the end of the frame. Most digital cameras, even the one I'm using to record this video, have rolling shutter. But it's a little different. You might have seen it when you take a picture of someone running, or if you move a camera while you're recording, and you see kind of a jello effect. There aren't any springs in these things, but instead there are rows of sensor pixels. Those pixels are read out line by line, causing rolling shutter. Hardware image decoding on most camera sensors isn't fast enough to grab every line of pixels instantaneously. It starts at the top and goes down, kind of like an old CRT TV, like this one from the Slow Mo Guys video. It's really fast, but it's not quite instant, so you get rolling shutter. And Raspberry Pi's HQ camera is no different. If I put it on a tripod and wiggle it while recording, you can see I kinda turn into jello. My body's not actually contorting like that, it's just rolling shutter. But for some things, rolling shutter just won't cut it. That's why Raspberry Pi just announced this new global shutter camera. It looks like their HQ camera, but its global shutter means it can grab every pixel in a frame instantaneously using a special buffer. If I do the same thing I just did with the HQ camera, I'm not jello. I'm just me. No distortion at all. But global shutters come with a trade-off. You either get lower resolution, or you pay more. Uh, a lot more. So to keep the same $50 price point as the HQ camera, Raspberry Pi chose lower resolution. The HQ camera is 12 megapixels, but this thing is less than two. The special frame buffer is super fast, but it comes at a cost. Raspberry Pi went with Sony's IMX296 sensor, the same one used in a lot of industrial camera modules. For the most part, outside of sports, Hollywood, or industrial applications, rolling shutter isn't that bad, so people are happier with more resolution for the same price. But in cinema, directors do a lot of camera moves or record people moving around a lot. Rolling shutter would be really distracting. In industry, computer vision needs to see reality as it is. Distortion could be the difference between picking up a part or missing it entirely on a production line. Arducam also makes a global shutter camera for the Pi, and they published this video. Even on a spinning fan blade, you can read a clean QR code. With rolling shutter, it's a mess. It's really hard for software to see things when they're so distorted. But back to this new camera. Mostly, it's the same as an HQ camera with one major difference, this back. This black cover prevents light leaks through the PCB, and it also protects the electronics underneath. And while it looks pretty, it does mean some mounting solutions might need changes. Like on this camera mount, I had to use longer nylon standoffs. The ones it came with were too short. The camera sensor is 1.6 megapixels, and it records at 60 frames per second, just not quite at HD resolution. So no, don't trade in your $6,000 cinema camera just yet. It does give a pretty great image though, since individual pixels are so big, but again, it's not even 1080p. The box includes a screwdriver to adjust the mount for C and CS lenses, and it includes a full-size ribbon cable. If you want to use the camera with a zero, you might need to pick up an adapter. The camera costs 50 bucks, and it should be available today. Until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling.